To use CPEN TS1, you need to download and install the CPEN Core software. Go to cpen.com, click on Downloads. Check the TS1 checkbox. Select the article referring to Windows and click the download link. Click your way through the installation. Read through and select the license agreement. Select whether to start CPEN Core automatically with Windows or not. Select the installation path. Using the default installation path is recommended. Once CPEN Core is started, the small C icon will be located in the tray menu. At the end of the installation, check the Run CPEN Core checkbox to start CPEN Core. A small window will show the app is starting. And then the C icon shows up in the tray menu. Right click on it to access settings. Now connect the TS1. Windows will load the driver and the C icon will turn blue instead of gray. Hovering over the C icon will also show whether the TS1 is connected or not. First, we can set the text rules. The checkbox on the top enables and disables the rules. There are a few default rules, like removing spaces, allowing numbers or only characters and numbers and no symbols. You can also replace characters and symbols. Say you want to scan numbers and need to replace all commas with period marks. Enter the comma sign in the first field and the period mark in the other. Click Add Rule. Now, if the rule is active, all commas would automatically be replaced with period marks immediately when scanned. CPEN Core for Windows supports a lot of languages. To make things easier, a short list is provided. To edit this short list, click Add Remove Languages. Then scroll through the list and add or remove any language you want. Click Done and re-access the short list to see your changes. With speech, you can have the scanned text or numbers read out loud by the Windows system voices. The list of voices represents the voices installed on your Windows PC. Select a voice in the same language as the selected scan language. Now scan and listen. Next, we can alter the meaning of the function button. It can be set to tab, enter, escape, backspace, or leave it blank. This tells what will happen when the function button is pressed. Similar, a function can be set to automatically happen after a scan. A tab, enter, or space can be automatically added after. There are two techniques used to paste the text into the app you want to scan text or numbers to. Some older apps may work better with C Direct, but otherwise standard is recommended. It is possible to scan text into any application on your computer. What is most important is how to start the scan. There is a small arrow in front of the TS1. This arrow shall point down to the text line you intend to scan. Try to keep the pen straight up, move at a steady pace, and straight along the text line. It's possible to scan from both left and right.